guys, Lunarspawn27 here, bringing you Toriko Chapter 332, Chaco's Situation. So the chapter begins inside a waiting room in Blue Grill Stadium for the five ten-shelled chefs. The waiting room scene was basically seeing the five ten-shelled chefs in person and seeing what they're like in terms of their personalities. For example, Condor seems to be the more energetic, enthusiastic chef out of the group, and Chef Mei Mei seems to be the oldest out of the group because everyone calls him old man may as for the rest of the chefs i'm not exactly sure what kind of personalities they have but at least we get a sample of one of asarudi's abilities apparently he or she i'm not exactly sure if asarudi is male or female has a photographic memory where he or she reads through two books by flipping through the pages really fast and then closing his or her eyes memorizing the words now i'm not exactly sure if asarudi read through two books at the same time but if asarudi did that then that's very impressive the beginning scenes don't reveal a lot of new information, but we know three new pieces of information. The first one being one of the books that Asarudi was reading. It was called Marin's Pot, and the author of that book was Malazman, one of the members of Zeroth Biotope. And in case you guys have forgotten, she and Sakura were sent to Area 3 to capture Adam. So once we get to the Atom arc, eventually Coco's team is going to encounter Sakura and Malazman. That is, if they're alive. The second one is that Malazman's book was brought to Blue Grill by Ichiryu when he visited Area 6, which was 216 years ago. How old exactly is Ichiryu? I mean, I know he's over 500 years old, but Jesus, gourmet cells can make you live through centuries. And according to this one panel here, I'm not exactly sure if it's true or not, but Ichiryu 216 years ago looks the same as he was when he was first introduced into the series. Again, how old exactly is Ichiryu? Is he over a thousand years old? Anyway, the third piece of information was that Ichiryu is the first and only creature that was stronger than the Dawn, referring to Dawn Slime. So, if Ichiryu is stronger than Dawn Slime, then how strong is Dawn Slime? Anyway, it's almost time for the cooking battle as we see the stadium's arena and the audience members for some reason have bowls of rice. I'm not exactly sure why. Maybe in this cooking battle, the chefs would have to cook for the audience, but it's not just the audience, but even the viewers who are watching this battle on TV have rice. So, what is up with that? I'm not exactly sure. Now, the judges for the cooking battle are the ST10, or spiritual tasters. Ten people who are taste masters and experts in not only living world food, but spirit food as well. Think of it as the gourmet world equivalent to G7. We also see Don Slime there wearing a crown sitting on a throne, and it turns out that he is the king of Blue Grill. A food spirit, which is this black blob with arms and legs, is the king? I didn't know Blue Grill had a king. Okay. <laughs> well, that explains why Don Slime didn't want Gigi to tell them about him yet. I guess he wanted to make it a surprise. And some of the citizens can't see him, even though he's a food spirit, but the civilization still recognizes him as their king either way. So the chefs had no luck contacting Komatsu, and Chiu's group did go to look for him, but there's a chance that they won't make it in time. So the five chosen chefs that are going to participate in the cooking battle are Wabutora, Shiru, Damala Sky, Nono, and Yuda. Okay, so I was right about Yuda, but not Chio and Komatsu, so... Uh, one out of five ain't bad. Speaking of Komatsu, we cut back to him talking to the old mask man as we get to learn about Blue Grill's dark side. Just like Area 8 civilization, the ancestors of Blue Grill were slaves to the Nitros, who had gourmet cells forcibly injected into them. The genes of the ancestors were inherited by the next generations, the current one inheriting the good and the bad from the ancestors. And when the old man means good and bad, he meant people who were compatible with the gourmet cells and people who weren't. Those people make up 10% of Blue Grill's population. And considering how huge Blue Grill is, that is a lot of people. Then we get to the part where I honestly found really messed up about Blue Grill. Once every six months, citizens of the slums are chosen at random to go through a health examination to find any abnormalities within these people. And if they found 
anything, they would be forced to relocate and their souls are bought and sold. Some people who have lived in the slums that had their souls switched had to participate in Blue Grill's project, whatever that is, and they were forced into seemingly endless labor. So in other words, if you have a serious injury or wound or a physical or mental disability, blind, mute, deaf, crippled, anything like that, you would be deemed a failure and you'd have your soul switched to a superior one. That is messed up. Like, why would Blue Grill do this? Instead of, like, treating these kinds of things, they would just switch their souls. I mean, how is it that switching souls helps the bodies overcome these kinds of disabilities? This is connected to Blue Grill's project, but we still don't know what this project is. What does this have to do with trading souls? Also, Don Slime is the king of Blue Grill, so did he come up with the idea of this project? Was he the one that decreed that those who were deemed as failures would get their soul switched? Well, we don't know yet, but one of the people that we do know that was taken for this project was Chaco's mother. Apparently her eyes were getting bad and she was slowly going blind. She was able to hide it so that she could raise Chaco, but they discovered it six months ago and took her into custody. So Chaco had been alone for six months and he had no idea that her mother was taken to get her soul switched. And unfortunately for Chaco, he too had an abnormality which will likely be found in his health examination, and that is a taste disorder. Chaco had a weak sense of taste and smell, which explained why he didn't find Komatsu's cooking that good. And Komatsu confirmed this by giving the old man the soup that he made from yesterday. So Komatsu, with this determined look on his face, wants to find Chaco and save him. The old man tells him where he is being taken, and that is the Kitchen of Eternity at the peak of Shell Mountain. The old man was also going to tell Komatsu about the country secret, but he was interrupted by a communication call from one of the chefs, I'm not sure who, informing him about the cooking competition. We then cut back to the arena as we see the five human world chefs and the five ten shell chefs preparing and getting ready to compete. And that is where the chapter ends. So yeah, that was Toriko chapter 332, what did I think? This was basically a setup info heavy chapter. A lot of new stuff we learned about Blue Grill, which does answer some questions, but again raises more, and keeps building up the mystery behind Blue Grill's dark side. We still don't know what this project is, but it has something to do with switching the souls of those that are deemed as failures, and those that get their soul switch would go into labor to work for this project whatever it is, which I'm hoping we'll get to learn about it soon. I'm conflicted of which focus that we should go on for the next couple of chapters. The cooking battle or the project? I was really interested in learning more about this project and why these people would switch the souls of those that have any abnormalities. But on the other hand, I really do want to see this cooking competition because I really liked the Cooking Fest arc. And this cooking competition might be almost as good as the Cooking Fest for all I know. So I don't know where the main focus should go to for the next couple of chapters, but I'm assuming it's going to be the cooking competition. I don't know if Kamatsu, Chio, Kuriba, and uh, Chin Chin are going to be able to make it on time for the competition. I don't know if there's any rules that say that they can't switch any chefs. I'm not exactly sure, but if that's the case, then those are going to be the main five that are going to compete against the five ten shell chefs. Speaking of them, I did like seeing them in person. However, I felt like the beginning part lasted a little longer than it should have been. I mean, it was around seven pages, but we only learned three major things at the beginning scene. As for Don Slime being the king, King of Blue Grill, that did surprise me because I didn't know that Blue Grill was ruled over by a king. And if he is the king of Blue Grill, does that mean that Kamasu would have to convince him to change the project or use a different method to complete the project and replace all the souls that were switched or something? Because I can't help but feel like Kamatsu is going to bring in some sort of change to Blue Grill. If that were to happen, then Kamatsu might be deemed a savior in Blue Grill, or at least for the people of the slums or something. Well, again, I'm not sure how all this will turn out, but one thing's for sure, this project is connected to the back channel, and the chefs do have to go to the back channel to get another. So Kamatsu's new objective and his original objective are, in a way, intertwined. Also, I really, really want to see Whale King Moon because I can't help but feel like he's also connected in some way to this project. So yeah, looking forward to the next couple of chapters and learning more about not only Blue Grill, but also seeing the cooking competition.
competition. So tell me guys, what did you think of this week's chapter of Toriko? Did you like it? Did you hate it? What did you think of Blue Grill's soul trading for this project? How do you think the cooking competition will go? And do you think that Komatsu will bring in a change for the better for Blue Grill? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to like the video if you like it and subscribe to more videos and be sure to check out my Facebook fan page and Google+. Plus. So yeah, that is Toriko chapter 332. I'm Lunar Spam 27 and I will see you guys later. Bye.